Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the Contractor Zone. Working from the home shop today, as you can see uh, with the test light there, I got a customer who said he had a no start. I uh, figured it was a starter, no big deal. I pulled the clutch cover off and clutch is an inner cover, which you don't have to do by the way, but that's the way I like to do it. Uh, put a new starter in, obviously I figured that out, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, this thing's got about 10,000 miles on it, pulled it apart, you know, obviously, and looked at the belt. Belt was shot, shot, told the customer, yeah, if you made another 30 feet, you'd be lucky. So he said, go ahead and put a new belt on it. Uh, also, the clutches are pretty noisy, pretty rattly, but he decided he didn't want to do it, which is fine. They can blow apart like they do sometimes. Just put brand new tires on it. But like I say, 10,000 miles, this old girl's in pretty good shape. Uh, of course, I saw I'd need brake pads too, so I started uh, putting brake pads in it and noticed something really funny that, well, he greased it. You know, he also greased his uh, brake bleeders too, so kind of thought that was funny. It's been a while since I've seen that in my uh, world, but anyway, nice old rig. All right, guys, I'm back uh, with these wheels. These are the uh, Camaro wheels. I did a video where I made it seem like I damaged it. I really didn't. I just had to take the sensors out of the old rims to put them in the new ones. All right, let's go back five hours ago so I can show you the condition I found this car in. It's Thursday morning, and I don't think I have the energy to deal with this shit. All right, so we're working on a 2022 Chevy Camaro. Customer states that they hit a curb on the passenger side. And the steering wheel's off to the left when the wheels are straight. Yeah, so let's take a look at the passenger side. So I'm looking and I see this with the steering wheel straight. I just pushed in a little bit. And then the back side, uh, it's also pushed in. Okay. So I'm thinking to myself, please let me drive this in. I mean, I've seen worse. I'm hoping I can. I'm going in reverse and the car stops here. I come out to take a look and now I'm like, oh, that's still there. And then I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Wow, I didn't know the control arms were detachable. What the, what curb did you hit? That's not all. I look at the wheel and damn, you're missing half of your rim. Why are you even going this fast? Is this even an SS? Bro, it's a convertible. Like, who races? Let's see what you got under the hood. Yo, you got the V6. It's not like you got a V8 in this. Why are you racing this? Now I got to figure out how to rig this shit to push it all the way into the shop over there which is in Carajo land when you're pushing a car. This is causing me a lot of emotional damage. I hope everyone's having a better Thursday than I am. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Next. You know we had to do it again. So we are back with another one. But you know when you see this and you see that, there's a story to this. The customer states that they did the rear brakes at another shop. They were traveling to Vegas. And while they were on the freeway, they heard a loud pop like something broke. But moment of truth. Let's see what we're gonna find. Everybody comment. Don't. <laughs> what happened to the rest of your brakes? Oh, wow. Damn. Oh, look, I found it. It's tied to the uh, diff. That's where it's supposed to go. Yeah, it's zip tied to the spring. That line looks a little fucked. Man, look how bent that is. The bracket's broken, it's missing. So I was looking for the wheel and then I found this. Wow, that's broken. I've never seen one of these break. That's the bracket. And here's the wheel. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Damn, that's cracked. So it looks like the caliper bolts were not tightened. It came loose and it was just dragging in this wheel. And this is why I tell service advisors, don't rush techs on brake jobs. I know they're easy gravy work, but look, this is what happened. So what did we learn today, service advisors? A, don't rush your technicians on brake jobs. Did we learn today, techs? Two, don't rush on brake jobs. What did we all learn today? C, don't rush anyone that's working on your car. And this one's a bonus. Don't let AutoZone diag your car. <laughs> I'm out of here next. Wait, no, turn, turn it on. Turn it on, turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. Give it a give it a rev. Give it a rev. All right, get get that shit the fuck out of here. Well, boys, I fucking sent her a little too fucking hard, but I really hope I. Oh fuck! Customer states wheel wobble. Uh. Oh, you just park out you want? Oh my fucking god. Do you have a bolt for that? 
Allo On today's episode of how fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. And that's fucked up. And I'm fucked up. <laughs> On today's episode of how fucked up is fucked up. That's fucked up. And that's Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to send us your own pictures and videos using the link in the description below. If you haven't done it yet, we invite you to like this video and subscribe, as this helps us a lot to keep bringing new content.